live tonight from Moscow. The 21 Russian drones that violated Polish airspace on September 10th marked the first time NATO forces engaged and shot down Russian assets since the war in Ukraine began. A sign, some analysts say, of what is to come. This is how the Russians do war. They, they test softly a little bit. They watch for a reaction. And if the reaction is soft, uh, then they'll keep going. They'll keep testing, testing, testing until they make the ultimate decision for a confrontation. The NATO response was immediate. More than $1 billion in military hardware scrambled, including Polish F-16s, Dutch F-35s, a Belgian Airbus tanker, and a German Patriot missile system. Yet the drones were able to breach NATO airspace. The targets they faced turned out to be Russian Gerbera drones made of styrofoam and plywood, unarmed, built at a cost of under $10,000 each. The penetration and the response raised questions of how prepared NATO is for modern warfare. The gaps and the vulnerabilities are huge. We just saw that, I think, in very stark terms uh, with the Russian drones that uh, you know, landed in uh, on Polish land and Polish airspace. How did the Alliance defend those? It was jets and missiles. We spent $2 million per Sparrow missile trying to shoot down a $10,000 drone. This is not how you defend against a drone attack. Repeated.